are on the last evening of the Breathy Bash. And just after the joining competition, you tell us all about it. Calvin Lan himself, Benny Sexy. Benny, how did this all start? It, 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 it was a major success here this evening. I just want to tell you that the, the, the talent that was on that floor was unbelievable there this evening. Both young and old, they were sponsored by Heineken. There was 2,000 euro in prize money here this evening. And uh, the judges had a very tough decision to make on picking first and second place. And here we have behind us here, we have the winners and the runners of, of the driving competition. There they are at the table, as happy as could be, two, the two couples together know each other well. And it was a major success to the, the, to the lighting with themselves. So they yeah, are. they're all, all over as well. There they are. I'll just call out the names. We have David Flynn and Regina Dolan. And David's from Donegal, sure. Regina's from Red Hills. And in second place is Rachel Woods from Tadablet and Adam Elliott from Rockbury. And there they are, folks. Yeah. Well done. Well done, folks. Well, give us our way. And welcome to the Luke Combs experience. We've got Ian, JP, Robbie, Phil, and Phil, Danny, and Chris. Good evening, guys. Welcome. And you find yourself in Calvin by very strange circumstances this evening. Who wants to tell me all about it? So, we were actually in Ireland for two shows. We were in Cookstown, and then we were in Dublin last night. And we got a new agent, actually, Eamon Fitzpatrick. And he phoned us yesterday and was like, can you stay in Ireland one more nap? Because unfortunately, really? Johnny Brady couldn't make it because yeah. he's poorly. Hopefully he gets better soon. And we were like, I asked the guys, begged them, paid them. And then, <laughs> not yet. sandwiches. And then game sandwiches and a curry. Very well cooked by the GAA, by the way. And here we are today. Okay, so tell me the background of your music, Ian. Well, we started off as a covers band. And that was... About a year ago, somebody said to us, you do a lot of Luke Combs, why don't you become a Luke Combs tribute act? And the rest is history. We decided then to do that, a couple of changes of personnel, and here we are now. Yeah, so your lineup is, this is this is the band, six folk on stage. Six guys on stage, but the, one of the most important is... The is, heart of this band yeah, is Danny here, Danny. who drives us around everywhere. Honestly, we, we couldn't do it. We couldn't, we couldn't do it without you, Danny. Couldn't we do it without him. No. Yeah. No, 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 Danny's not just a driver. We can all say that. Yeah. Well, yes. And then, um, <clears throat> once we got Danny, then we found that we could go further and further afield. And uh, here we are now. Okay, so tell me where you're all from. You're not from Calvin, you're all from? America. <laughs> yeah. Really, really all well parts of America. Just shout it out there. Well, no, we're not from, I'm not from America. But I spent 10 years out in Houston, so that was where I got my accent from. I'm mostly from... Sorry, not Sussex. Sorry. Oh, you're from all over. I'm from Manchester. Manchester, my goodness, you're not from anywhere. You're from everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. We've got to go back to... Oh, well, I'm near Heathrow. Um, near Gatwick, near Heathrow, so we're spread out. So, now, now listen here, from somebody who sings in a choir, how do you rehearse if you're from such diverse places? Well, we spent nine months getting together. We spent from January last year to September literally going through every single week. Rehearsal studio every single week. All together. Until we could get every song spot on how yeah, we want to. I, I, I must say, I loved your stuff tonight. It was much different than everything else here this weekend, but it was really, it was really good to hear. Oh, thank you so much. Great stuff. So thank you guys. What did you think of Calvin? Oh, and I hear you're playing Calvin again on the 1st of March. We are, we are. So there video. you are, folks. If you didn't see them at the Breathly Bash this weekend, you will get to see them on the 1st of March in the good old Imperial T Hotel in Calvin Town. Okay, guys, so great stuff. Thank you. And uh, you can go home tomorrow, okay? <laughs> 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 Welcome to a very important part of the Breathney Bash weekend. The chosen charity for this weekend is Cohen, and Cohen is cancer is Calvin Cancer Support Group. The fundraisers have been busy all weekend selling tickets for their raffle, and they have a fantastic raffle of four prizes. First prize is a travel voucher for 2,000 euros, sponsored by Breathney Air. 
The second prize is a, a weekend break for two, for two nights in the wonderful Galway Bay Hotel. There are two tickets for, to ACDC in Crow Park and two tickets to Coldplay in Crow Park. Now I'm going to hand you over to Carrie Mullen who is the chairperson of Co to say a few words. Carrie. Yeah, hi um, everyone. I'm currently the chairperson of Carvin Cancer Support Centre. We are the only cancer support centre in Carvin. Um, we were delighted to learn that we were the chosen charity for this year's Bethany Bash. Coon is only able to operate as centre because of the kindness and generosity of organisations like the GAA and all the other people who fundraise for us. We wouldn't be able to offer the range and volume of services. S services like counselling, complementary therapies, support groups, workshops, drop-in service, um, without the money that is raised by organisations like the GAA and other uh, members of the public. Unfortunately, the, the demand for our services um, continues to increase. We, Coon, would really like to, to thank sincerely Carvin County GAA Board and all of the clubs, the GAA clubs in Carvin as well. Breathney Air, Galway Bay Hotel, um, all who were very generous in terms of giving us uh, vouchers um, for the draw, <laughs> uh, prizes for the draw. Um, also, Lynch Print, Club Spot, Mel Signs, Breathney Balloons, Cavern TV, thank you, all the volunteers who helped to make the event possible and everybody who came along to this weekend's event. We sincerely hope that everyone is enjoying themselves and we really say a big thank you to, to everybody. Thank you. Well, well done, Kerry. And uh, we had a draw under hectic circumstances earlier. We held a draw in the in this in the marquee in, in, in the marquee and it was hectic but we have a result and amazingly enough we have one very lucky winner so bernie is going to call out the winners of the draw okay folks the first prize goes to ty Hogan. second prize ty Hogan. third prize denise murphy and fourth prize kim reed thank well, you well done on behalf of all the members of Coon and the hard-working members of Coon, they would like to thank everybody who supported this raffle and they would like to thank everybody who supports them during the year. And in return, I would like to thank Coon on behalf of everybody who gets the care and support from Coon. So well done guys, take a clap on the back, well done to you all. to the last act of the Breathly Bash this weekend. We have the Tumlin Paddies, oh. Martin, Garrett, Lee, Kieran and Oshin. Well guys, this weekend, you are the penultimate, you are the last act on stage tonight. This weekend has rocked in Calvin. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to blow the roof of that tent tonight. So guys, do you really know how successful this weekend was? Oh yeah, it was a great success. I felt pleased. You looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to it all so much. So we can't yeah. really get on stage. So tell us the Tumblr parties. I know you know Calvin well. You've played a few times in Calvin, haven't you? That's right, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, you're busy this summer. What's going yeah, on? we're very busy this summer. We're going over to Paris. Oh, uh, with the Olympic team, yeah. and uh, we're doing it. And then we're going to America in August. And, uh, yeah, we're flat out That's in brilliant. Scotland and England, UK across. So, guys, you're uh, mainly from Fermanagh, isn't it? All from Fermanagh. All from Fermanagh. Well done. So, are you really looking forward to rocking it tonight? You have to do it. Yeah, we have to do it. So, tell us, um, you know, like your, your, your biggest hits tonight. What are you going to fire out there to them? Oh, we're doing you know, pretty, to get the crowd singing. Pretty girl and the way I am and make the town and the whole songs and of course. Okay, so that's it folks. We have the Tumblr parties which we've been for them all week long, all week and long. So here they go guys, are you ready to go? Yes!
here we are, Kieran, um, almost at the end of the fantastic weekend of the Breffney Bash. I've been here all weekend, it's been a fantastic weekend, a bloody good weekend, hasn't it? Oh, it's been a fantastic weekend, I think. You know, when I look around and just see what's going on here, the crowd of people are turning up from every club in Cavan and supported it, from the officers, from the organising committee, to Civil Defence, to the Gardaí, Cavan TV, Aidan Dunham Photography, you know, our local partners, Northern Sound, We Are Cav, and all these media people who help us so much in promoting every event. It's so important to all our, our people that come out. And I think it's important, you know, to understand that the funds raised goes to the new pitches here in Kingspan Breffney. And it's the amalgamation of the LGFA and Camogie in Cav with the GEA. And I think that's so important that it's games for all, you know, for everyone. Um, I just wanted to say, Anya, it's just been an unbelievable weekend and the amount of volunteers are turning out every night. You know, without them, we have nothing. Yeah. But the venue of Kingspan Breffley, we have set this up now. This is a venue and this is a place to come and it's a place where we can show that we can run events here. That's exactly, Kieran. You reminded me of what you said on Friday night about the hard work that went into making this festival possible. You sorted everything out from the top from the lights down to yeah. the flooring and it's been a success but there yeah. has been no incidents no no anything it has all run smoothly yeah. a great weekend and a memorable memorable musical weekend has been had by all yeah no it's been a fa fantastic but it sets us up for you know what i mean for whatever you want to do in the future and you know look at who keep, knows what keep, comes in the future absolutely keep the music local that's what we want yeah. and what a brick brilliant weekend it was and yeah. of course folks if you want to go back and see the week look at the weekend you can look log on to cabin cabin gaa board yeah. has got fantastic yeah. footage and of course good old cabin tv has got wonderful footage as well yeah. so uh, thanks for getting us involved nice Karen, we're delighted nice to do so. yeah, yeah. and it was a wonderful festival and we hope uh, everybody out there enjoyed it and enjoy watching it back yeah. thank you thank you